How you doing? Oh, this is silver. Dude. Mm -hmm. I can already tell it's silver. Wow. Are you kidding me? What's going on guys? Some of you already may know that I am a video game collector as well as a reseller. I go to garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, and everything in between looking for items to buy and resell for a profit. Well, if you guys saw my last video where I came across some vintage antique sterling silver, in today's video, I'm gonna get one of those pieces tested. I bought a vintage beer tankard and it was about $5. This lady was only asking a couple dollars for all of her sterling silver. I don't know why, but I bought it all. And this vintage beer tankard supposedly is sterling silver. So in today's video, I'm gonna be heading to my local jewelry store to get that tested. Here is the tankard in question. As you can see, it looks just like a beer stein. I was told it's from Germany from the late 1800s to early 1900s. It has no markings other than some obscure ones on the bottom. And I've probably put close to four hours of research into it, trying to figure out what the front crest is. I know that it's a demi lion, but I just don't know what family it belongs to or what jeweler that crafted it. But I do know that it could be sterling silver from what she said. If you look at the handle, it has some oil residue from hands and it tarnished it. And there is a little bit of pitting on it as well. And it just looks handmade overall. I contacted various reputable antique silver sellers on eBay as well, and although they couldn't tell me if it's silver, they did tell me to go get it checked out at a coin shop or a jewelry shop. They did say that they knew it was vintage and it was definitely antique. It is a very, very beautiful and decorative piece. Whoever owned it, I'm sure cherished it for a long time. But in today's video, we're gonna figure out and get to the bottom of it is this thing actually silver? So this tankard weighs about two pounds and in current conversion rates, the melt value is gonna be about $700 of sterling silver. However, I'm not gonna be melting it. It's going to go into somebody's collection. This is a decorative piece of history. So there is no way that I am melting it down. However, if it is pewter or something like that, I will just throw it up on eBay for about 50 bucks if that's what it's worth. I hope it's not a replica, I hope it's real, I hope it's sterling silver, and we're gonna go find out right now because I'm heading over to the jeweler to go check it out and test it if it actually is sterling silver. So let's go. Oh, and later today, I think I'm gonna be buying some video games off Facebook Marketplace, so we're gonna do that too. How you doing? Good. I called about the tankard. Yeah. I don't know if you remember me, but I bring I bring my girlfriend's rings here all the time. Oh yeah. Oh, this is silver, dude. For I can sure? already tell it's silver. Yeah. She, yeah. she I bought it at a garage sale for five bucks, and she told me that it was sterling silver. And I bought like three or four other pieces that yeah. were that were for sure sterling. But this is silver. There's no markings on it though. I I I, I don't know how to tell. Like I was telling you, like it is tarnished on the handle. Yeah, it's just part of being silver, you know. It's got a little HI something. Yeah, there is like a, I think it's like a one, two, three, and then an yeah. HKT or this L. Is sil this is silver. I can tell you this is silver. How do you I know for I don't sure? Need it. Just the way it looks, the way it's made. You know? You think it's sterling? Like yeah, it's 92%? Yeah, it's silver. Wow. Now, this is silver. People don't really buy this for weight loss, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they don't melt it down, they'll buy it for... They don't melt it down, you're better off selling it as... An antique, right? An antique, yeah. yeah. And somebody will buy it, it's a nice 
in this piece. Put a nice cold beer in there. Yeah, right. Moscow Mule. Yeah, she said she got it from Germany, and it's a uh, it's an, a family heirloom, and she just was like, I don't want this. I'm gonna sell it at my garage sale. And I, I like I said, I paid five dollars for it. It's, uh, yeah, that's silly. I, I I know I could see like the pitting and like yeah, you can see silly. where it was handmade, but you don't think it's plated, right? You think no. it's no, it's not plated. It's silver. Wow. That's raw silver. Amazing. You can get some silver polish you like. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's silver, man. Thanks. No worries, man. Take Good it fine. easy. Good fight. Thanks. <laughs> All right, guys, you heard it from him right away. He said that it was silver just the way that it looked. And then he ground on the bottom a little bit and put a solution on it. And he said it was not changing. So it is, in fact, sterling silver. Not even plated. He said it is sterling silver. There is no markings on it. So that's what made me skeptical that it was silver. But he is a professional jeweler. He has been doing this for about 20 years. So he said that it's silver. So I'm pretty sure that it's silver. I am seriously freaking out. This is the find of a decade. I paid $5 for this tanker and it ended up being actually sterling silver. This is like a two pound tankard and this just in melt value is over $600. So I have no words. I have no words. I'm not gonna melt this down. This is definitely a collector's piece. The guy told me to go home and put a cold beer in it and drink it, but I'm not gonna do that. But this, this is insane, guys. This is a sterling silver tankard from maybe the late 1800s or early 1900s. I still can't find out what crest that is, but it is in fact sterling silver, and we just made a whole lot of money from our $5 investment. At this point, I really don't know what to do with it. I don't think I'm gonna sell it on eBay, but I do think I'm gonna auction it off somewhere more reputable that does sterling silvers or gold or antiques or something like that. But if you are interested in this tankard, please let me know because it is for sale, but I really wanna make sure it goes to the right collector or the right owner because I really don't want somebody to melt this down. This is definitely a timeless piece and I really don't want to see it destroyed so I really want to sell it to somebody who collects vintage tankards or somebody that collects the specific crest. I'm going to head home so I can shower and change and I'm going to put this in safekeeping somewhere so it doesn't get damaged or destroyed or anything like that and then I'm going to be heading about 35 minutes north so I can go pick up some video games. I messaged a lady on Facebook Marketplace who was having a garage sale post and I asked her if she had any video games and she said that she was about to donate these video games but she said that she'd sell them to me instead and she only wants $25 for everything. So I'm gonna go pick them off her porch and then I'm gonna just put the money under the mat. But I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna go pick up those games and then I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I'm back at home with our bag. We paid $25 for it. And like I said, the seller was just gonna donate it. So I'm not sure if they look through it or not. I'm not sure what I got for $25, but let's see all of the games that we got for $25. Not really sure what all is in here, but let's just start from the top. So we got PS3, Kingdom Hearts. No manual on that guy. Got the Evil Within, PS4. Complete. Ooh, we got Zelda Skyward Sword. It's got the bonus disc in it as well, the orchestra CD. And I think this guy is complete in box. Awesome. Yeah, that's really good right off the bat. We got Zelda Skyward Sword. We got Pokemon Sun. There's nothing in there. Pokemon Moon. Nothing in there. Mario Super Sluggers. Oh, what is that? That looks like a GameCube game. Mario Super Sluggers. And... Ribbit King? Bandai? I think that's a rarer company to see for GameCube games. Ribbit King. I gotta look this up. Okay, so this is a happy surprise. Ribbit King is worth like $100 loose. Never played it, never even heard of it, but Ribbit King for the GameCube under Mario Super Sluggers. Amazing, that is really good right off the bat. $25 for this, insane. We got Wii Sports. And this is 
in pretty rough condition. But we got Wii Sports and the manual. Another GameCube game. Mario Sunshine. No way. Mario Sunshine. Let's go, guys. Two GameCube games. I hope there's more in here. We got Zelda Twilight Princess, Nintendo Selects. It It's sealed. No freaking way. This game is sealed. Never opened. Zelda Twilight Princess. Sealed. Dude. This is insane. What is this? Alright, so I don't know what this is. It looks like a book. Oh, it's Final Fantasy X and X2. But it comes in this really cool book. For the PS3. That is awesome. Super cool. Jillian Michaels. This is also sealed. Mario Kart. Oh my gosh. Jillian Michaels sealed. Don't think this game is worth anything. But we got Mario Kart at the bottom. I almost dropped it. Mario Kart. Complete in box. What is our luck? It's the last game. Game party. Complete. What is our luck? You have to be joking me. There is a $100 GameCube game in here and a ton of heavies. Wii games. We got Mario Kart. Don't know how much this is. Twilight Princess. Sealed. What? Mario Sunshine. Wii Sports. We got Ribbit King. Mario Sluggers. These are empty cases, but they probably still sell. Skyward Sword. Evil Within and Kingdom Hearts. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. My luck has been insane lately. We got a vintage sterling silver tankard from a garage sale for $5. And then on an ask from Facebook Marketplace, somebody having a garage sale, just randomly if there's any video games they had lying around. And they said that they had a small bag they're gonna donate. And that's what we found inside it. $25. There's probably $300 worth of stuff in there, if not more. Insane. But that's going to do it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys watching it. Please click subscribe. Please click the like button. It helps me out a ton. And I will see you in the next video.